Hello, everybody. Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Once again, this time we're taking out a 1986 Ford F-350 uh, for some hot shot trucking in Wyoming. This is a free mod. You can get it on Mason's Mod Shop. I'll have everything linked in the description below so you can check it out there. Uh, the trailers, however, are part of the payware uh, pr thing I had from the last F-350, which was the Frank Brazil one. I do want to say a very happy Monday to all of you. I hope you're having a great week so far. I'm going to go ahead and fire this thing up so you can listen to it. I believe Slive Jerry is the one who did the uh, sounds on this thing. Let's uh, listen to it while we fire it up. Oh, it's got a good sound to it. Not too shabby. It's got the classic truck horn. And if you're wondering what we're hauling, we have smashed cars here, and we're going from Casper down to Cheyenne. And this is the interior of the F-350. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's fantastic stuff, man. I love it. I have the NRG Innovations wheel on here today. I haven't used this one in a while. Let's go ahead and put the uh, parking brake away, put this thing into gear, and let's get going. Actually, we're going to be shifting with the clutch since we're not going to be doing the, you know, uh, way we normally do it, which is by floating the gears. I want to say a big thanks to Thrustmaster for sponsoring this video. I'm using the TSPC Racer by Thrustmaster, TLCM pedals down there, and the TH8A shifter. Everything I use is always linked in the description below. You can check it out there and uh, and go check them out. They go right around this way. Man, it's weird not having my big massive wheel I'm used to. And last time we used the smaller one, so now this is like the, the middle of the road one, so... I believe this one's a 15 inch wheel, wooden wheel. But man, so cool. I'm really enjoying the hot shot trucking. Um, with Frank Brazil's F350, I actually ended up running that quite a bit in a stream. Uh, if you haven't checked out my Fabian Alive channel, it's my second channel. I put my archives for my Twitch streams over there, and you can watch it over there. So that's something to look out for. Shift into here. We're going to be making a right turn out of here. Listen to the sound of that blinker. Still got a rev match, you know. That's still a thing. Oh, man. Not used to having good brakes either. <laughs> this thing stops on a dime. All right. So we're leaving Metal West here. I'm not sure what company we're taking these smash things to, but uh, all in due time, we'll figure it out, right? Yes. And traffic is... Uh, is Pretty heavy through here. Actually, you know, I'm gonna do the old standard throw the hazards on and hope for the best. Sometimes they'll let you out if you do that. And anybody gonna be nice to us today? Oh, police, you gonna be nice to us? Mr. Police Officer? Nope, don't want time Warner Cable's like, nope, not happening, dude. Okay, well, it was worth a try, wasn't it? And since they're being jerks, we'll just go to the outside view here so you can see how awesome this truck is and see if this Pokemon oh, Roadmaster can let us out. Yes, he is. Nice. Oh, I've always loved the body style on this particular truck. It's fantastic stuff. I know I have this trailer here, so buddy, give me a little bit of extra room here. Thank you. Don't need a whole lot of room, but a little extra room to get out and around. But man, look at the modeling on this truck. Fantastic stuff. And we're going to talk a little bit about it as we go down the road here. And I do have to say a big thanks to uh, Mason's Mod Shop and Mason himself for uh, taking the time to talk to me on Discord to try to get this truck working. Um, when you download it, you won't have the issue that I have, and that is I don't have a working rear view mirror in this thing. Uh, these side mirrors work perfectly fine, but the rear view mirror for me is screwed up. Uh, he tried so many different builds of it and tried to fix it. We couldn't figure it out. I really have no clue. Uh, nobody else was really having the issue that I was, of course. But uh, that's the reason why I don't have one on there, which is fine because we're hot shot trucking with a, you know, a gooseneck trailer back there. Don't really need it. You see, they can't really see behind all that stuff. So it worked out in our favor. We're making a right turn out of here. All right, cool. Um, yep, we're good to go. You might see me moving around and shifting around in my seat. That's because I am indeed using a motion platform, the motion platform V3 by Next Level Racing. I do love it. So that's why you'll see me flaying, flailing about. There we go. Man, that sounds so good, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I'll roll the windows up so we can have a little chat here. They are indeed the old roll windows with the little, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I don't have to explain it a bajillion times here. Also, we're going to be exiting here on the right, so. All right. No Jake break in this thing. You got to manage your speed with, uh, you know, 
shifting right. and and the actual brakes. All right, we'll get us get on the highway right here. And I do know this one works fine in multiplayer in the uh, convoy. So if you want to do convoy hotshot trucking, there's a lot of options now. And I'm still waiting for John Ruta's awesome Ram to be released. Uh, he still has plans to release it. I don't know what's going to go on with the uh, actual like payment and all that stuff, but I'll definitely key you in on it once once I have a hold of it, you know. Did any of you watch the NASCAR race on Sunday and what did you think? Let me know in the comments below. I loved it. Um, you know, Atlanta, I'm not even gonna say it because for some reason I'm convinced it was like a, a planned thing. But have you noticed how many times they said the word Atlanta Motor Speedway? They're like, Atlanta Motor Speedway, Atlanta Motor Speedway, Atlanta Motor Speedway, over and over again. It's just like, let's call it Atlanta. I'm gonna call it Atlanta. Um, but they made it a mini Daytona or Talladega. And boy, oh boy, was that interesting or what? Now, you know, I'm not saying to do that to all the 1.5 mile tracks, definitely not. Atlanta had to get a repave. It was probably gonna be, who knows what it would have done. But you know, if Atlanta just wants to have that feel of the uh, intermediate track with the, you know, pack style racing, restrictor plate racing, um, then, you know, let them have it. Don't do it to the other ones, but let them, uh, let them have it. It's unique, you know? Because I, I, we've seen at Las Vegas, the next gen car did awesome there. So I don't want that to be changed out, you know? All right, we're gonna be just staying on the highway for now, for the most part, all the way down to Cheyenne, I believe. Boy, what a beautiful day. Hardly, not even a cloud in the sky. That never happens. And I know I have rain and all that turned on. So we're just getting lucky. <laughs> that never happens to me. Well, sometimes it does. I'm not gonna be a Debbie Downer. Oh, anybody need anything from McDonald's? You know, what's funny um, is that I I went years and years and years. I'm not a person that's like, I don't touch McDonald's. I don't do that. So um, I, I'm, I'm not afraid to say that I enjoy the chicken nuggets I have since I was a kid. Uh, who doesn't? But whenever I see the Golden Arches logo, it makes me want chicken nuggets. And recently I'm just like, I got to go get chicken nuggets. And then you go up there and it's like, you either pay $17, $16 or whatever for 20 chicken nuggets and a, you know, fries and sodas and stuff. But they have that family plan. It's like 40 chicken nuggets and two fries and this for the same amount of money. Now I did get it once, but I, I, I couldn't eat it all. It's, ins it's an insane amount of food. Um, I tried to warm it up in the air fryer and uh, I'll just be honest with you. That didn't work out so well. Oh man, look at this. We got a classic on the left here. A classic car. We're in a classic truck and they're in a classic car. I love it. You love to see it. All right, let me get a screenshot and then I'll be right back with y'all. Oh, look out. We got are them alligators there on the side. Yep. All right, let's let this uh, motorcycle pass us. So I'm going to get a screenshot after that. It's going to be a good time because it'll be nice and straight through here. There we go. All right, be right back. And we are back. Law Enforcement Academy. I know where we're at now. I remember this from whenever I was first starting to explore Wyoming. I still love Wyoming. Don't get me wrong. Ooh, a G35. That's nice. Um, I was in St. Louis. I can talk a little bit about that. Um, very exciting stuff there. You know, I, I have explained that we are moving back to Missouri and St. Louis by next year. Now, probably going to put the, the house up for sale this year, and then we'll go from there because the housing market's pretty uh, pretty good right now if you're selling. Uh, but we go back to St. Louis, plan to to go into renting again, and then maybe buying a house down the road. Who knows where we want to live at that point? But uh, I did go back, uh, flew in there. It was funny because on Thursday of last week, was it last week? Already? Yeah, it was last week. <laughs> I'm like, I'm thrown off here. I've been talking about it all last week that because uh, it's Monday. So I'm... I'm I was thinking the prior week, but I was like, oh, I was in St. Louis, but I hadn't made a video and talked about it. Um, so we were just out having our morning coffee and I was like, hey, you know what? You want to go to uh, to St. Louis and visit our family and friends for the weekend? We really need something like that, you know, just being cooped up in the house. And so we decided to do it. And uh, I got to say, you know, having that privilege to do that is something I never thought I would ever have. I didn't think I'd travel as much as I do today. Uh, and that's a lot to do with all of you that watch these videos and that have, you know, continued to change my life. And all I can do is to say thank you a bajillion times over. Thank you. But, you know, to uh, to be able to afford a flight to go see a fa you know, family when you want to, 
that was really cool. And, you know, eventually I'll be moved back to Missouri and I'll get to see my family again. But after five years of living down here in Florida, I didn't realize, you know, what I did. I knew that going into it. That was going to be the case. But, you know, I, I really do miss them and I want to be near them again and my friends there in St. Louis. So I got to see my sister, my mom, my brother, my dad. I got to see all of my friends. Like there was no... The only person I didn't get to see was my stepdad, which I was unfortunately didn't get to see. Um, and I was kind of sad about that, but I got to see everybody else. So in the span of a weekend, it was it was busy, super busy. So that's why I wasn't there on Monday. And then things just kind of progressed really rapidly throughout the week. Uh, I did want to talk about um, the 5PD series because we talked about we were going to change the name of it, right? Excuse me. We're going to change the name of it, but we have decided collectively as a group, we're not changing the name. We're just going to keep 5PD, um, unless the 5PD guys have a problem with it, which they don't. They've they said that in the past. Um, <laughs> they don't have a problem with it. Um, we're just going to keep it the same name. I appreciate all the suggestions and everything like that, but uh, we're a firm believer of, you know, if it isn't broken, don't fix it. And we kind of wanted to be open to the idea of it, and they're just like, you know, nah, let's not do that. So... There is that. A lot of cool things on the horizon for OCRP. I don't want to get too involved in conversation about it because I don't want to make people get excited about GTA 5 RP being like a staple on the channel again um, because it's never going to be like a just constant, you know, series on my channel. You know that uh, we do kind of a variety show here. We do everything, a little bit of everything, and I won't change that. But uh, a lot of cool things coming to OCRP. A lot of cool things. We're very excited about it. Let me get in this lane, because this, look at this old truck. Get around you, buddy. Like my 86? Yeah. This is so pleasant to drive. And let me explain, you know, the physics of driving this, um, kind of like I talked about the Frank Brazil F350. We'll get back to the OCRP in a second. Uh, like the Frank Brazil stuff I was talking about. This is incredible. Like. It's got a great physics feel to the, a lot of body roll to the truck. You can see when we're in the corners. Um, so it doesn't have a feel of like those really, you know, if you get like one of those car mods and you throw it in here, it's very weird feeling. I can't explain it, but this feels like I'm driving a truck with a trailer on the back of it, like hot shot trucking. I know I don't, I, I, I should be doing about 80 miles an hour in this lane here, but I mean, we are pulling these old junker cars, well, the smashed up ones. And uh, I, don't want, I don't want it to be over. Oh, hit the waker uppers. I don't want it to be over. I'm having fun hanging out and talking with y'all. All right, we're going to be exiting up here, aren't we? Yes, we are. Let's get in this right lane. Start slowing down here. There we go. Keep right after Aha, use that engine brake. And exit right ahead. It's so cool to see the RPM gauge there in the middle. Exit right ahead. Yep, we're exiting right. Thank you very much. But yeah, it's fantastic. But with the OCRP stuff, you know, we've been doing beta testing with the one sync servers. And if you don't know what that is, it essentially is going to be uh, an envisioned right. thing where you can actually, Turn right. um, you know, have a lot more slots than the 32 right. that we always have. And that's, that's a big deal. Like, honestly, it really is. All right, we got the green, so we should be good here to get around this way. Just watch out for those cars. They're happy with us. We'll give our trailer some room here. Yeah, I think I swung a little too wide on that one. Um, but eventually you can have like up to a thousand. You can have your entire community on at once. And how it works is that, you know, it, it, it connects people and disconnects people that were in, that are in a certain radius of you. Um, so when we were first practicing or, you know, not practicing, but beta testing everything. Hey, welcome to Cheyenne, everybody. Um, we... We're seeing that happen all the time on the little, you know, pop up at the bottom left. It was like, so-and-so left the server. So-and-so joined the server. And it, we thought there was like instability issues. Look at that guy hot shotting over there. No, he just has his ATV. But he's like backing up the light. Like, what are you doing, dude? That's very strange. Okay. Um, just shift. Listen to the shifting sounds. So good, man. So good. Can you believe this is a free mod? It's free. Um... But yeah, we were noticing that was happening, but we learned that that wasn't a problem. That's what it's supposed to be doing. So good news is that things are progressing there with it. 
And once things get where we want it, um, I will bring it back to the channel. It's just a matter of figuring out left. how to get everything working turn with the, turn left. you know, timing with everybody and all that. I'm not going to block this intersection like a jerk. Too many people do that in the real world, right? You're not supposed to do it, but Cheyenne downtown. Yeah, we got the green light. We're good now. But I plan to do some uh, stuff with Dave. Me and Dave have been talking about bringing some of our RP characters back. Um, I know one that a lot of people want to see is Bluebird and Nightman. That was a lot of fun to do. We want to do stuff like that. So um, that is the plan to do that. I'm going to continue to do the GTA Online stuff. I know a lot of you enjoy the NPC life. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with that. So as long as I'm having fun making videos, I'm going to continue to do it. That's the reason why I do it. You know, that is the honest to God reason. Okay. What's that over there? That's prime rib, man. I don't know. I'm just hungry. I am hungry. Prime rib. I was talking about chicken nuggets earlier. I'm sure you were less like, come thanks. Whoa, Walgreens. Where are you going with that, bud? Yeah. You going to do that? I'm going to just downshift in the first gear here. Get in this lane because we're going to have to get over. Go straight. Go straight. We will. Oh, we didn't make that light. Dang it. That's America Appliances. You know, down here in Tampa, there's uh, Tate's. I'm ne I never heard of a Tate's with, until I was down here. Now, let's talk about food since we're talking about it anyway. It's inevitable. Uh, when I was back in St. Louis, man, I just miss the food there so much. If you've never been to St. Louis, they have their own, like, pizza, which is e Emo's Pizza. Also the home of the toasted ravioli. It's a deep fried ravioli with like a, like a beef Good. filling or pork filling, whatever. They're different or a cheese filling. Some of them are, uh, and you dip it in marinara sauce. I'm just going to, we're not gonna make that light. Sorry. Sorry there, bud. Um, really good stuff. Emo's pizza. They use a Prevel cheese on there instead of mozzarella. 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 Um, and it's like, People kind of think it's like crackers because they're like really, really, really thin crust cut up into squares. It's just, it's, it's a St. Louis thing. And the wings in St. Louis are, they're a whole new level, man. Uh, we don't have Jack in the boxes down here. So right. it was weird to see those again. Yards, turn right. Yep. We'll turn right here. Might as well use our blinker. Man, I right. love the sound of that blinker on this truck. It is just so dang good. All right. We're good there. Oop. Trying to hit that curb there, Jeff. Rubbernecking, you dumb dumb. And yeah, I've talked about that before. I tend to do that. Boy, this is a cool part of Cheyenne. Get in this left lane. I see a truck coming, but we're all right. It's a straight truck. Making a right truck. Oh, are you kidding me, Prime Rib? Steak night. No, it's the Texas Roadhouse. Because I have the uh, <laughs> real advertisements in here. It works. That looks good. Man, I do like Texas Roadhouse, though. Have you ever been to one? Some people don't have them near them. But I'll tell you what, it's a great time. Turn and they uh, they have the peanuts that you can throw on the floor. Don't do it. It's a it's a jerk thing to do. Don't be that dude that goes in there and eats the peanuts and then throws the shells on the floor just because you can. And it's like a thing. It doesn't mean that the wait staff or the, the workers there really want to deal with it. But I can guarantee you they don't. It's just more work. So if you ever go to a Texas Roadhouse, fun fact, you want to make people happy there with you. Don't don't. Be that guy. Don't do that. Right. Yep, yeah, we're gonna go straight through here. Man, this is a beautiful, beautiful part of town here in a little tiny, you know, uh, neighborhood here. Looks like it's trash day. That's something that's always funny in these like sim games, and anytime you see the trash cans out at the edge, you don't realize that until you're like an adult. You're just like, oh, it must be trash day for them because all the cans are out. And I can tell you, living in a non-HOA, I love the fact that you can forget, heaven forbid, you know, you forget your trash can out there one night or one day or whatever. You don't get it fast enough and you'll get fined. That actually is a thing with the HOAs that I have lived in in my life. Um, really, really don't enjoy HOAs. I, I understand why they are there and some people like that living style. It's not for me. I'm a Hoosier. I don't want that. But I'm like a, I'm like a good Hoosier. Like I'm very quiet. We keep to ourselves. And, uh, 
We, you know, heaven forbid, maybe I'll leave the trash can out once in a while. We'll all forget about it. Okay, right turn here. But nothing like the nightmares of HOAs we had to deal with, with the stupid, like, your grass isn't green enough. That was one. And it was a rental property. We weren't even, like, the ones in charge of that property. Well, according to them, we were like, yeah, you are. So we actually ended up hiring a company to come out and fix the sprinkler systems and all that. So they actually worked. But <laughs> avoid a HOA at all costs. If you have any HOA stories, I'd love to hear them. I'm sure y'all, some of y'all do. All right, dead end. Yeah, we know that. Now we'll just keep her in second gear. Well, this is a pleasant drive, man. This has been a lot of fun. I missed American Truck Sim. It's good to be back in here for sure. We'll be back to the big rigs soon enough. Um, I'm sure this week on twitch.tv slash jfaviano um, in the evening times, I stream Monday through Friday over there. Uh, we will be doing some more hot shot trucking with this truck. We have reached your destination. Uh, we need to tell them we're here. Hey, what's going on? Uh, yep, I'm here with the scrap. All right, over there. Oh, straight ahead. All right, appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good day. All right. It's gonna be right around here. There's not a person there. You shouldn't be talking to them. I love that whenever I would do my LSPDFR series. It would be like, you know they don't talk to you. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I kind of figured that much. Where is this at? I think it's back here. What? It's right there. Oh, okay. Oh, this isn't too bad. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and swing her this way. Let's just roll our windows down here so we can listen to this awesome truck. We're parking her right there. Right there. All right, cool. That gooseneck trailer, man. That looks so cool. Yeah, right that back there in that spot. All right, slick. I'll turn our as it's on because we can. Where's the reverse at right there? It should be reverse. I put this thing in range, so I'm not sure. I kid you not, I uh, didn't have a reverse, so we're just gonna use the automatic here on the on this one. It's not a big deal. We're we're already here, so that'll work. But yeah, I just I don't know why I couldn't find a reverse gear there. I'm sure there's a way to find it, but we're already here, so let's go ahead and back the sucker in where it needs to go. Let's see it just go that way, yep. Let it kind of float that way. These shorter trailers, man, they will really throw you off because you're so used to having like a big 53 footer, you know? And uh, you gotta be ready for it. Now I've, I've dealt with these kind of trailers before. Let's see. You know, those little short ones you get on those runs. In real world, the real world, I've, I've done one, I've pulled trailers about half the size. So I have done that with a truck, like a, you know, U-Haul. And this thing really wants to take off in the automatic mode. It really, really wants to take off on us. So I'm like being careful. Oh, duh. It's re I'm holding the clutch like a dum-dum. It's in automatic mode, Jeff. You don't need to do that. There you go. Do that then. Let that thing fly over to the right a little bit more. See, right on that line there, that's where you want to be. Now let's just kind of tuck in behind it here. Oh yeah, that's gonna be fine. Right there. We're having a good time. If you don't know what that reference is, that's Dusty Slay, a stand-up comedian. He's pretty hilarious. If you never heard of Dusty Slay or Nick Bargazzi, you're missing out on some great stand-up material. Highly recommend them. They're all they're all on uh, Netflix. All right, wait for that green line. Come on, let's see the green line. Can I get a green line? Yes, we can. Sweet. Um, that's fine there. Pull that off. Kill the engine. Listen to that spool coming down. I'll definitely jump that up and post so you can hear it better. But we made it. All right, let's find out what uh, what we ended up getting here. We have scrapped cars delivered from Casper to Cheyenne. 147 miles, 3 hours and 46 minutes, 19.6 gallons of fuel consumed. There you go. We did it.
Yay, everybody. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this episode of American Truck Simulator. Let me know what you thought of the F-350 in the comments below as well. Um, I'm loving these hot shock trucking options we're getting here in American Truck Sim. Just something different and new. So we'll definitely pick this thing up and do it again. But uh, go check it out. It's free. It's amazing. Big thanks to Mason for everything. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.